you know, I truly do believe that was a defining moment in American life. It was a defining moment between oppression and freedom in the world. And uh, if they had not succeeded here, you know, I don't know what this world would be like today. When Governor Riley and his family recently traveled to France, this was on the to-do list. This is Omaha Beach in Normandy, France, one of the places that Governor Riley really wanted his granddaughter to see. At the age of 12, Rebecca Riley is seeing the place she's read about in history class. It's very peaceful and quiet and unhurried. You don't have to rush through it or anything. It's kind of like take your own time. Thousands died right here on D-Day in 1944 when Allied forces invaded France. Their bravery, I can never understand. Their fear, I can't understand. Our gratitude to them, I hope they understand. Walking up these steps to the American cemetery, it takes your breath away. It affected children that were born that never got the it affects more than one person. It affects a generation. This place is 172 acres wide and full of emotion. We wanted to bring our granddaughter out here. And the Manning family from Huntsville visited the same day. I tell you what, it's, it's very powerful. I mean, I don't think you can walk through it without getting tears in your eyes and think about what people did for us. Gave the ultimate sacrifice a long time ago, and it's still uh, pretty powerful to come here 63 years later and see that. Riley says all Americans should see this if they get the chance. What we've got here is very, very special, and it was paid for with a very, very heavy price. More than 9,000 are buried here, 151 from Alabama. To learn more about Normandy, France, visit our website at WKRG.com.